So I don't know if you guys know this, but my girlfriend is a veterinarian and currently we have a cow living in our backyard. Uh, it was some sort of rescue. I don't know if one of her clients wasn't going to be able to keep the car, the cow, so it was either put the cow down or, uh, or stay in our backyard until she could find somebody to, uh, to take it in, which I guess is going to be happening here pretty soon. But it was kind of sickly. It was... Uh, it had kind of a rough birth. So anyway, it's had a little bit of issues kind of getting going and doesn't have its mom or anything. So what that means is my task here is to feed this animal while she is away. So uh, it's it's been kind of ridiculous. So I'm making up this milk substitute here for the for the little cow. I'm gonna take it outside and, and, uh, and, and feed it. Um, but it, it's actually been funny that the cow it hasn't really been able to walk until today, so it's just been like eating off of its its knees basically and walking around on its knees. But you'll see in the video. I didn't I didn't film any of that stuff previously, but I guess it can walk now. Um, so maybe you should be leaving here pretty soon. But you guys really liked my uh, my gardening videos, so maybe this one will be even better for you. <laughs> strength and uh, yeah this is this is the day after my my cow stuff um, and apparently apparently we're about to go castrate it <laughs> which uh, I don't know I'm not gonna film we're not gonna show you guys that uh, I'm I'm not pumped to be involved in that but hey I guess I'm here to help so um, anyway we're gonna get off and going with another little vlog video here this is actually week two for me I think maybe I did this last time but um, this is week two of this block Last block, a lot of it was built around trying to get back to being, you know, fully healthy. I actually anticipated some of the stuff with my glute. That went pretty well, put together a pretty good block, feeling healthy there. So now really lower body stuff, we're just training. Um, so today was tempo squats and bench press. I forgot to film the tempo squats, uh, but but last block I was doing a two zero two tempo. This block I'm doing a three zero three zero zero, so just a three count down. A um, little bit of like, you know, self-limiting load kind of stuff, um, helping me kind of fill my legs. I actually do have a video planned on tempo work specifically, so hopefully in the next few weeks I'll get that out. Um, means I gotta film a little bit more footage, but it's not super important for, for right now. But uh, I'll just roll the footage of, of my bench press stuff over, over me talking here, but a little, you know, frustrating, like last week went really, really well to get my bench press going again. Uh, last block, kind of sluggish coming back. Um, but it like, came back feeling healthy, feeling stronger last week for sure. But I've, I've dealt with like some elbow stuff for a really long time, um, particularly my left elbow. My right elbow got kind of torn up in the corrupted strength meet, but the left elbow has been the one that's been uh, tr troublesome, problematic. Uh, and, and honestly, like everything that I've written for bench press is, is hopefully revolving around, you know, keeping the elbow and keeping my pecs a little bit healthier. Pecs feel good. Um, but the elbow was surprisingly painful this week and I didn't really expect that. So I think I'm gonna make some adjustments to tomorrow's stuff. I, if you're following the program, you may not even see the adjustments. I did incline press on my, on week one. I'm gonna shift that. Um, so hopefully I'll have a pretty good update after day two tomorrow, just kind of managing the elbow stuff. I feel pretty good bench pressing twice a week. Uh, I, I'm, I'm excited about that. 
I'm, I'm gonna roll with it for a little while. Hopefully today was just a little bit of a one-off, but kept stuff pretty light, you know, didn't really move with a lot of aggression, tried to keep it under control to, uh, to hopefully mitigate some of this for a little while. So, um, I mean, like I said, I, basically everything I wrote was trying to manage this uh, and, you know, kind of limit the intensity overall and just get some good kind of healthy, good feeling reps. Worked well, last block kind of came back. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Not too worried about it. I'll, I'll definitely talk about it later in the week. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Um, but I'm heading up to Brazos Valley Barbell tomorrow for all my accessory stuff. So we'll show that and then probably come back and talk about the heavy stuff for the plan for the rest of the week after that. Like I said on this day, this is just gonna be my pure upper body accessory day. And I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different here. So you can see I'm starting off with chest flies. And I'm really calling this my primary exercise. Last week I did incline press. I've been doing incline press as my primary movement, but the elbow needs a, a bit of work here. And I really think that this might be something that's productive for me anyway. As you can see, I can train them pretty hard. I can load it pretty well. Uh, I think it can be a good exercise to, to build strength overall and, and just kind of limit the wear and tear on my elbows, but also get some really, really effective loading. But I think something to look at is my exercise order. So I'm doing the chest flies first, followed by dumbbell bench press. Originally, I was going to say, okay, let's do dumbbell bench press. It's actually a little bit easier on my elbows rather than incline or something else. But... I was going to have to limit load so much on these dumbbell presses here, right? I'm, I'm going, uh, you know, 20% lighter, 30% lighter even than I might want to go. And I'm doing tempo reps with these to save some elbow pain. So it, it's just probably too light to really matter and help really actually get me stronger. So I can do something like the chest flies first and probably provide a much better stimulus from a strength perspective and, and maybe make some good progress there. While I choose exercises and give myself an opportunity to increase the tissue tolerance in that area overall. So I, I like this style. I like this structure. I, I think uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited to keep doing it throughout the whole block. And maybe even after that, you know, as the elbow improves, I think being a little bit more creative in this range, like if this day is just a pure accessory day. And I've obviously had issues with elbows and issues with my pecs to some degree, you know, just kind of overuse injury stuff, you know, to just training too hard in some areas, I think. And using a little bit of variety, variety here to help limit some of my loading, but still provide some really productive stimulus, I, I think is uh, is kind of encouraging. So uh, anyway, I, I liked this day. Um, I'm looking forward to continuing to do this day throughout the whole block and, and maybe even get more creative moving forward after this. So I don't, I don't want it to be some sort of you know, pre-exhaust idea or something like that, but it's, it's genuinely just to find ways that I can choose exercises that I can train harder than any other variety. And so I just didn't want to waste sets here just from a, a rehabilitative standpoint. So um, anyway, other stuff, just, you know, using exercises, exercise selection that, you know, gives me an opportunity to be really stable and train pretty hard. So lots of, you know, chest ported rows and these lat pull downs here in a second. And that actually is somewhere that I think I'm seeing a little bit more, I, I don't know, I, th th that, I, that I think I maybe was dismissing that I was getting some pain when I was doing more underhand row, like neutral to underhand row, that those actually were bugging my elbow a little bit more. Um, I, you know, and I, I didn't really think that it was causative until now that I did some last week and, and really started to hurt. So now all of my rowing, I'm gonna try to keep a little bit more overhand in general. So just an accessory day. I, I actually really like this session and it ended up 
getting me kind of back into a good groove for the rest of the week and, and hopefully getting some more productive upper body training. Probably some of the bench press stuff tomorrow because I doubt I'll have a whole lot to say. So um, I am doing cluster doubles for my main stuff right now. I'm not doing singles um, for a little bit. I actually think I may run something very similar in my next block. We'll see. Maybe a single followed by some clusters. By the way, I do have a video planned on uh, year-round singles or just like weekly singles on competition lifts. So got that going. Um, if you have questions on cluster deadlifts, I just posted a video pretty recently on those. But um, big stuff for me is, is like 
grip and consistency and you know effort off the floor and that kind of stuff and I, and I think this is is going pretty well um 705 320 kilos was my top double today wasn't really all that hard I mean cluster deadlift, cluster deadlifts feel very very hard and my glute was kind of bugging me a little bit today uh which you know it, it's been better <laughs> we'll see you know the the glute and the elbow are kind of back I'm not really worried about the glute thing I expect to squat pretty well later in the week but uh but we'll see but that's like some of the the stuff later in this session with the the, uh, the paused deadlifts. I was kind of cutting the lockout short and going a lot slower off the floor, which was that, that was the main reason was um, just babying that some. But it was kind of a good opportunity, you know, to, to practice some of the stuff that I wanted to practice, you know, consistency, feeling the bar against my legs, that kind of stuff. And, and I think that that's probably a, another good opportunity to, to look at right here. Just that, you know, within every session, we're, we're going to have, sometimes it's just all great, sometimes it's not. And even when my glute was bugging me a little bit, I still took advantage of that opportunity to go after the process that I really wanted to go after with this session. So it still ended up being productive and, and didn't, you know, cost me, uh, like, you know what I feel like is confidence or anything. Uh, I, I still feel pretty good about what I put together today and, and you know, expecting to, to get better moving forward. So yeah, working on, on more and more, I, I'd call it patience off the floor with my deadlift, uh, you know, fighting for a little bit better position, trying to open up a little bit more, get my hips a little bit closer, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, generally do a pretty good job of it, but you know, I think some ways recently I've been slacking. So uh, anyway, working on that, but yeah, deadlifts, deadlifts feeling pretty good. So um, my bench press, my plan for the rest of the week. I'm probably gonna either completely skip doing singles for the whole block um, and just do, I think it's a three by five is what I have planned tomorrow, or just keep my singles around like an RP six, or my last option is do a single around that six or seven RPE range after my other, my three by five bench press work. So my, my feeling currently is it's really just kind of intensity related um, or, or that's, that's where it gets bad when I'm, when I'm actually training. So um, really just trying to find ways to get good training in without getting that to show up. I'm not all that worried about it. I'm a little annoyed by it because it's, it's been going well and then this week, it, you know, it's pretty bad. Um, so just, just figure out ways to be able to train it and to, to keep it away. So just exercising caution as much as I possibly can. Um, and I still think I can put together some pretty good bench press training. And like, ultimately the goal is to be ready for raw nationals. And, and so just in the short term, just finding things that I can do to, to continue to train hard. Uh, and I think that's kind of what all my videos end up being, especially these vlogs, uh, you know, is, is if you're following some, you know, good competitive lifters you know, we're all pushing really hard. We're all trying to find, uh, you know, ways to progress as quickly as we can. And within that, it's just, it's managing this stuff. You know, I think I, every single good lifter probably has something that they're managing kind of all the time, you know, here and there. Um, I, you know, I, I can think of a bunch off the top of my head that are. So anyway, you know, if you're kind of a newer lifter and you have stuff here and there, like it's part of the game, man, get used to it. So anyway, I think that's it. You know, good stuff so far with this training block. Um, I'm going to leave the single in there. If you guys are following the program, I'll leave that stuff in there. Um, so you can follow what was, I guess, intended for the bench press. But otherwise, it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, so yeah, I probably won't have much to say on the bench press stuff tomorrow. Just, you know, working hard on the accessories. So I'll probably do that and then we'll roll into the squats later in the week. That Those have been going really, really well. Been working on a few different things there. So um, I may come back, maybe do another voiceover, talk about it after the session. We'll see. Um, but anyway, yeah, good stuff so far. Head off to TrueFit to do my hack squats and kind of quad stuff. And then we'll see you on Friday for squats. All right, today's a new day. Uh, you know, I think, I, I think I've been a little frustrated, you know, annoyed, I guess, with the elbow thing. But I'm gonna take a little bit more control, right? I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing some little tricep warmups, I guess, here as, as I'm talking. But that's kind of part of it, you know, is that I think I've been, uh, this week in particular, a little bit annoyed with the elbow. Um, it, it's been almost, uh, I don't know, maybe it's been six, eight months or so of, of this elbow thing 
really kind of bugging me off and on. Um, when I hit my biggest bench press last year, 210 kilos, 463 pounds, this was there, right? Like I, I, I can deal with this. I've dealt with this for a while. Um, it's, it's annoying that I put in a lot of effort over the last month, well, you know, six weeks or so to really take care of it. And it was looking really good last week and now it's back and it's like, I don't know, bad, you know, annoying. It's significantly better today, but you know, I, I've been conservative this week and kind of steps forward in the right direction. But that stuff happens, you know, we get these little setbacks and it's annoying and it's frustrating and then like I just, my, my binge press is like always stuff, you know, my pecs, my elbow here, keeping me from bench pressing as strong as I know I can be. And so like this one is, is pretty annoying. My squats, my deadlifts are going really well. But we're gonna take control, right? Like the stuff that I laid out as far as my plan earlier in the week, we're doing that. You know, say I'm gonna do my three sets of five. I'm gonna start with like 140 kilos for a set of five. Maybe I go up, maybe I stay there the whole time. We'll see. Go to Brazos Valley Barbell after this and you know, hit some accessory kind of stuff and train those as hard as I can. And taking control, right? You know, doing stuff that doesn't hurt the elbow, it doesn't make it worse. I was productive with it in the last block, got pretty good. Um, it just have to manage it, right? So like a setback shouldn't be um, that annoying. I, not that I was like super discouraged or anything, but gonna reevaluate my tone and kind of get after it. So, you know, taking kind of a, an active approach with stuff like this, um, trying to, to warm up a little bit better, you know, make it, you know, decrease sensitivity. But the biggest thing I think right now in this moment is how much I believe attitude matters that I think on Monday in particular, I really just was not into it. You know, I, I, I didn't want to try hard. The elbow was pretty painful. So like that whole session, I just wasn't really doing what I could. I wasn't moving with aggression and confidence. And so that made things hurt worse. And, and I think that that is such a common thing that happens for all of us going through these, these circumstances. We have something happen and we get kind of down in the dumps. And we have to be able to, to take control and kind of maintain, like own our attitude and just understand that so much of our outcomes are going to be determined by the way that we're viewing them, the way that we're approaching them personally. So I can control that today. I have no idea how it's about to go. No idea. Maybe I, maybe I can do 140 even, <laughs> you know, maybe I can't, maybe it's lighter than that. Uh, you know, even like doing these, I'd say no weight on this thing, just the empty cable is a, two, three out of 10 pain, you know, and it's a little bit better than it was earlier. Um, so, you know, I'm expecting, I'm expecting to be able to do some sets of five with like 150, maybe 155, I, I think would be okay. Uh, but we'll see, if not, okay, no problem. I, I can get some stuff done after this accessory wise and still find ways to, to get better, get stronger. So that's, that's the big thing is just take control, control your attitude. And, uh, and that's kind of the only way forward. So let's see what happens. Okay, not bad. Uh, pretty much what I was expecting there. 150 for two sets of five. 140 is what I'm calling my first set. Um, pain was okay. Significantly better than earlier in the week. I think the big thing was mindset. Uh, it, I really didn't feel it all that much. I would say like kind of a, a dull two or three out of 10. Never really got worse in any of the sets. Intensity is like for sure where it's tough. Um, so maybe have a path forward. I, I feel pretty good about that. I feel pretty good about, um, yeah, I don't know, changing my mindset, having some direction. So um, anyway, probably just not gonna be doing a bunch of singles, probably not gonna be doing a lot of like heavy work, more ascending sets, 
definitely is going to be the plan. Um, and just give it time, right? <laughs> Wait a while for it to be good. So, you know, I, I think that the, the mindset here really, really helped. Feels like a win. Now off to Brasses Valley Barbell for accessories. Feeling better, you know, feeling, feeling kind of excited to do this stuff now. So anyway, that's the big lesson here. Fine with what happened. Didn't feel super strong. It didn't hurt. It doesn't feel worse now. Hopefully I can say the same thing tomorrow when, uh, when I'm talking about squats and stuff. So anyway, off for accessories. Friday morning, and uh, we're calling the cow Nelbert, by the way. So Nelbert's going home. He was he was supposed to go home Monday or Tuesday, but uh, but I guess some people fell through, so he's been here all week. Uh, but now we are we're apparently going to load this guy up into a dog crate and put him in the back of my girlfriend's car. Who he's going to go up to to Texas A and M University for a little while, and then he's going to go to somebody else's little farm, and and apparently he's not going to turn into meat at some point. He's he's going to be He's gonna be a friend forever, so uh, I guess we can all be happy about that. But uh, but yeah, now we're we're loading this guy up, and we're gonna return back to normal non-farm life, and just have just have the two dogs, two cats, and rabbit around here. So maybe still a little bit of a farm. But uh, but anyway, let's get this guy loaded up. No, come on, come here, come here, <laughs> come on, big boy. <laughs> Nelbert's gone. Uh, you, despite despite living in Texas, uh, that's that's probably well. I've been around cows before, I guess, but that that's the first time I've had one uh, physically living with me, and I, I I'm not not uh, really trying to do it again. So anyway, back to normal life is what we do. Uh, wrapping up programming and stuff for the rest of the week, and then um, today is going to be the biggest squat session of the week. Um, squat's been going really really well. Been feeling strong. Been feeling confident about that. So hopefully you know, single around like a seven-ish RPE. Ideally, 675 would be would be great for that. You know, week two of a block hitting something around there would, would be really encouraging. So, um, yeah, you know, kind of maybe just an explanation as far as what I'm doing on this squat day. Uh, single and then keeping my back down sets, not very many of them. Yeah, just I'm just doing two back down sets. Working in a little bit of a higher rep range right now, I think that one of the things that's been helping my squat a lot Last block, I did those 202 sets of five uh, tempo squats. And, and just like keeping my rep count up a little bit, um, you know, little doses of intensity here and there, I think for sure helped me kind of come back, you know, feel, feel like my legs were back underneath me. And, and just in general, trying to keep leaning into that a little bit. I feel like my squat is feeling really solid and I'm just going to continue to do things that emphasize it feeling good and, and letting me feel the stuff that I really want to keep feeling. So, you know, as far as specifics about 
why I'm doing sixes or things like that. It's, it's mostly just that, is it's making the sets hard enough, you know, that, uh, or finding some intensity in there mid 500s or so, um, you know, that the weight on the bar is actually relevant. You know, if I went higher than that, I probably wouldn't be able to accomplish that necessarily, but that it's still light enough that I can do reps that just kind of all feel good. Um, so anyway, that'll be later this afternoon. Uh, after I get done working, the elbow elbow's okay. Uh, it, it's it's a little sore day, but you know I, I I'd say still kind of feeling encouraged. I don't know, motivated, you know, from yesterday. So it's a little bit sore, but I'm not really worried about it. Uh, just kind of keep keep stacking up those good sessions, and uh, should be able to put together a pretty solid block with that. So uh, anyway, that's all the the life stuff. I think hopefully for the week, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see you at training later this afternoon. done a uh, pretty solid day 660 was my top single like I said 675 was the plan going in but maybe just for a, a brief thought on kind of ranges that I use last week was the first week of my block so RP 6 for the single second week of my block going up to RP 7 next week will be RP 8 for the single so what I tend to do is I tend to if the RPEs are increasing every week that I include what I did last week as part of my range, right? So last week was 635 at RP6. So this week going up to an RP7, conceivably I could have a worse day than I did last week. So my range was anywhere between 635, what I thought you know might be a bad day, all the way up to 675, which I thought might be like my best day. So 660, a little over an RP7, I called it seven and a half, 
eight, you know, somewhere around there. Um, fine, you know, kind of right in the middle of the range and, and that's okay, right? So that was a pretty solid day for week two of this block. Feel pretty good about that. So next week going up to RP8, I'm still not gonna say that the bottom of my range is 660 because it was, we'll call it an overshoot, but conceivably I could have even a worse, even a worse day. I could have a worse day than this. So probably my range is gonna be somewhere around like 645, 650, maybe up to like 675, somewhere around there would be kind of my expectation. Um, so anyway, I think that that's a, a pretty important thing for people to have conceptually is an understanding that even if last week was RP7, we're going up to RP8, like you could have a worse day and it's okay. That having that expectation, I think really helps a lot of people. And when you underperform on what your goal is, it changes that mentality that it wasn't really an underperformance. It was conceivably within the range that you thought you could have based on like, you know, averages, what your performances can be. So 660, great. I mean, that that's kind of at the upper end of what the range was, you know, middle to upper. So fine, good stuff, you know, and compared to previous blocks, that's fine. So we're in good shape, week two, nice and easy. Um, so anyway, all the other stuff felt pretty solid. Um, yeah, really, really, I think that's it. Not, not a whole lot to add, some good training right now, feeling pretty positive, feeling better about the elbow, like I said, <laughs> a little bit better every day, you know, and, and that's the goal through the remainder of the block. I feel strong on bench press, I just need to be able to represent it. I feel strong everywhere else and I'm doing a better job representing it. So that's all there is to it. Um, next week, back to coaching stuff, probably like a squat video or something like that. It's probably what I'm planning. So if you're, if you want more of the coaching stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.